what's up you guys it's your girl lovely and i am back with another video and as you can see from the thumbnail and the title in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make these arch wall backdrops using foam board yes you heard that correctly so before we get into this video if you want to subscribe to the channel already please go ahead and hit that subscribe button give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comment section what you think about it all also this will be part one of a two-part video in my part two you'll see how i dress the backdrop with balloons so stay tuned and let's get straight into this all right guys excuse my speech i just got my braces tied in so it might be a little off but this is the whole setup for the foam board that i'm using this is a 40 by 60 but it is not um big enough for the cover so i added another piece of foam board right here which is a little less than 25 inches then i gotta stretch it out some more because it's not wide enough and this little um foam board that i added it's about seven inches wide so i'm gonna add a little bit more all the way down here and then it'll be big enough for the cover so all i'm doing right now is cutting out some seven inch wide pieces of foam board so i could add it to the rest of the foam board and it'll be big enough for the backdrop cover that i'm using in this video and that backdrop cover that I'm, i'll be using is from you backdrop all the details will be in the description box below and i'll tell you guys more details about the backdrop later on in the video Whenever you're attaching pieces of foam boards together, when you glue one side, make sure that you flip it and glue the other side. That'll make it more sturdy. Okay, so for the cover that I'll be using over my arch wall backdrops it's this fabric backdrop that i got from you backdrop it is a lightweight fabric but at the same time it's thick i don't know if you guys understand that but it's a it's a nice fabric and also it is double-sided as in on one side i have pink and on the other side i have white you can also get this backdrop customized when you're purchasing from their website any um names or pictures or designs that you want on the backdrop they can do that for you all right y'all so now that i have the full size foam board i just place a cover on top of it and this is how it looks it's supposed to be the full arch and i'm gonna take my pencil and trace around the curve and then cut it out but this is how it looks. So for this part, you could always eyeball it and make your arch however you want. But because I already had the cover, I wanted it to be the exact size as the cover.
you guys so i just fit the cover over the first arch that i did and omg it fits perfectly like literally i don't even have to trim off the edge or anything i thought i would have to trim off some off the sides but omg it fits perfectly wow okay on to the next i'm about to cut out the second arch so i have the 40 by 60 foam board right here then i attach a little piece of foam board right there i'm gonna lay the cover on top of it then trace it out then cut it and y'all will see exactly how i do that and this is how the first arch looks super big <laughs> almost touched my ceiling like so big but i'm super excited to dress it and y'all can see how i do that later on but let's get back to this Okay, you guys, so this is the second arch, and yep, it definitely fits perfectly. Let's show y'all. This is the foam board. I didn't have to do an extra trimming. I just traced the shape onto the foam board, then cut it out, and it fits. So stay tuned to see what I do next. Okay, you guys, so I've been trying to figure out how I'm going to create a base on the backdrop to make it sturdier so i came up with this idea so i bought an eight feet piece of um pine wood from home depot and i also bought these brackets so i'm gonna use some gorilla wood glue to glue the wood onto the foam board then i'm going to screw i'm gonna screw the bracket onto the wood and then It'll look like this. Then this part is where I have to place the weight to hold it up. Go ahead and do this part off camera. All I'm gonna do is use the Gorilla wood glue and glue the wood on each end of the arch and then screw the brackets on later on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Plus add the foam boards to the back and I'm gonna check in later to show you guys the status of it. Okay guys, so this is how it looks. As I said, I bought a eight feet pine wood from Home Depot and had them cut it in four. So I have four two feet pieces of wood and they they already came um, painted white. So I used the Gorilla wood glue to glue it to the foam board all the way to the end, as you can see. And then I bought these brackets from Lowe's they were about two dollars each two dollars something each and I just used the screw and screw them in the wood but I just glued these about five hours ago so I'm not gonna dress this backdrop until like mm, probably Monday because you have to wait 24 hours for it to fully dry so I just did this small one and then the bigger frame is over there drying but i am placing something heavy on top of it just to press it down more on the foam board while it dries so i'm gonna place some i'm gonna place some heavy weight on top of it while it dries for the next day 
right. and guys this is how it looks after it's dry all you have to do is just place some heavy weights at the back so it'll hold it up and it won't fall over when you dress it with your balloons or flowers or whatever but yes this is how it came out which was perfect Alright you guys, and now I'm just covering my arch walls with my fabric cover that I got from U Backdrop. And as you can see, clearly it went on perfectly and it looks so good. So this was part one. Make sure that you guys check out part two of this video to see how I dress it with balloons. If you aren't subscribed to the channel as yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up and leave me some comment in the comment section below and let me know if you're gonna try this but i'll see you guys in part two of this video bye